into the year novel quiz to make it happen. See, I, I didn't think I would have watched this without uh, without it being on stream. Okay, here we go. All right, I'll Hello, do this everyone. It's nearly the end of the year, and I figured it would be a lot of fun okay. to close it off with a little quiz. Right. The feedback last time was mostly about balancing the difficulty, so I've done my very I best to make best. it ramp up just a little bit done. more. But please, hey, let's just please, dive into it please, and see how please, you do, Goloman's School of Necromancy. Became the home base for Kel Fuzad and his cult of the I Damned. But what family owned Skolomans before the, the Necromancer showed up? The Baroth family. That would be the Baroth family who entered the- Okay, alright, see, I'm already winning. I'm already winning. Like, literally, the first question, I'm already winning. Okay, now, this is what I'm talking about, guys. I will continue and I will improve. Here with Kel Fuzad to preserve their fortune and hold of the lands. Safe okay. to say, things didn't work out as they expected. At right. this point, the, the cult, cult of the, of the damned, damned is a cult, cult classic. Deathwing and his black dragon family, okay. they've caused quite a bit of trouble for the world. But who was the lucky lady that nearly married Deathwing? D can I- can I pause here? Who nearly married Deathwing? Ah, uh, Can I pause or no? Yeah, I, okay, I can't pause. I'll say Alex Drazo. Like, I, I, I have no idea. Kalia Menefil was nearly Wait, married what? off to Dave Oprestor, the disguise used by the Black Dragon. What? Netflix. But the world's fighting him and his schemes. It saves holy her from that unfortunate fate. And now she walks the land as a holy undead. Okay. Light's blessing upon you. Damn. Now I know that a whole lot of you have been reliving classic, so that girl's or had some you're bad enjoying luck. it for the very first time. Right, Rose in wrong. the Molten Core, the Dark Horde with Nefarian in Blackrock Spire, okay. who was responsible for summoning the heroes of the Horde and Alliance to clean out the mountain. Moira Bronzebeard, kidnapped daughter of Mechlin. She know. fell in love with her captor. Even man, this is fucking embarrassing, dude. I, I, fuck, man. Like, I don't know all this lore shit. Like, what I know is like in, I know in-game shit. Like, this is, uh, man, I, I'm getting fucking embarrassed. This is so bad, man. This is so fucking bad. Save the child. All right, let's it go. It was her clever mind that leaked the information of the threats and treasures I, that I were waiting in the that, mountain. Dude. And this, in turn, it brought heroes of the world to clean okay. it out for her and liberate yep. the dark islands from their enslavement. Mm -hmm. Keep poking me, and I'll show you how a dark iron erupts. Now Sylvanas has Jesus. abandoned the horde to kick off the okay. next expansion. Before yep. her, there was another war chief that became quite a problem. Garrosh, yes. he did not relinquish his title of war chief. Instead, the world rose up and forced him out of it. Okay. Placed on trial, which two dragons held him escape and kick off the next expansion? Okay, into Keroz, uh, Keroz and Rathian. Like, I, all right, I can get that one. The bronze dragon Kairos Dormu. He worked together. Okay, with the all right, there we go. So we're we're doing better, guys. There, there's not going to be any fucking mistakes. We're going to get this right. There's not going to be any problems. Okay, so I'm two to two. Wait, no, am I? No, because. They say you wait. Yeah, you do miss every shot you don't take. Okay, so I am two with two. Never mind. All right, uh, I I see where you guys are coming from. Okay. A black dragon refion to set Garrosh free and yeah. take him into an alternate reality. Once there, he could form this alternate horde, have it stand with okay. us against the coming legion. Plans with the best intentions, I suppose. Plans that didn't really work out. No, it did not. We will never be this is such a we stupid We all know cinematic. about the love affair between Jaina and Arthas. Yep. Those two were close, even as children, mm -hmm. and grew closer still as time went on. Mm -hmm. During his travels, the prince often met pretty young ladies. None were able to capture his heart like Jaina had, though. Yep. But who was sent to his She's room hot. to uh, keep him company when he was inspecting the internment camps and spending his time at Durnholds? <laughs> Teretha? I don't know. Tarifa Foxton was sent up to the prince's room because okay. her master thought that he would enjoy her I got it. Being the true honorable prince it. that he was. Arthas, there it is. He did not take advantage of the offer. Okay. Instead, they spent a few hours together. They just chatted away the night and enjoyed each nah, other. this girl's a thought, man. Like, think about it. Like, the moment that Thrall showed up, now she's trying to talk to Thrall. The moment Arthas shows up, she's trying to talk to him. She's a thought company before sending her back yeah. my lord blackmore sent me with this offering of things to tempt you all right onwards to the next section it is sound clip time i'm going to play a little sound file from world of warcrafts 
You tell me what we're hearing. Plans, little old me. What sort of plans could I possibly have? Was it Sylvanas? The Dark Lady, Sylvanas yeah. Windrunner. Okay. She apparently has quite a few plans going well, on. I mean, it's obviously Sylvanas, all right. Like her plans are so good, the authors and the writers don't even know what they are. Uh, I mean, yeah, of course it's fucking Sylvanas. That's an easy, easy, easy one. Plans to increase her power and make ready for that mm -hmm. brand new expansion. Going into fucking the Shadowlands. Fucking stupid ass cinematic. Curse man. you! Curse your mother! I will f***ing break your f***ing head down! Down your f***ing throat! You Ingvar. Odin himself would f***ing you under the ground! One of the best annoyed sound clips Fuck, that you could man. find in the game. I, this yeah, is Yeah, does like shit. I was so close. He's literally in the same dungeon. He's in the same fucking dungeon. It, the, shit. Moran hanging out as a follower in the warrior order hall. Yeah, being yeah, posed yeah. Until he can't take no more. Okay. <laughs> Thaddeus. I'm pretty sure that this clip has been used in several yep. places in the game, but the one that stands out, there will be Nachtramas. Yep. These are the screams of the tormented. You hear echoing through the halls yeah, I knew until this you one. face Thaddeus. Then, all of a sudden, the screams are no longer there as mm -hmm. they are fused in this titanic undead monstrosity. Yeah, this is it fucking is no badass. No good. No evil. No light. There is only power. Archbishop Benedictus in the end of the twilight, the hour of twilight, whatever. Archbishop twilight. Benedictus yeah. gave this beautiful speech each time to be faced during a cataclysm. A holy man yeah, that fell to despair and darkness as he gazed upon Deathwing, mm -hmm. now going by the title of Twilight Father. Easy, yes. easy, easy. Yes, yes! No, 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 no! Yes! No! I Pippers! Right. Uncle Gao Stormstout. He's yeah, quite I, happy I, experimenting and messing about in the Stormstout. Literally nobody cares about about Mr. Pandaria characters. Like all of the pandas are basically the same. There's the ninja panda, there's the panda that drinks a lot, and then there's the other pandas that drink a lot, and that's basically it. Like literally nobody cares about the pandas. The, the, I mean really, they don't have any unique personalities, like they're just Pandas suck. But his recipes created quite a bit of trouble for heroes. Yeah. And next up, let's go into screenshot time. What are we looking at? Uh, this is in front of uh, Oldham. Uh, or sorry, uh, yeah, it's in front of Oldham. It's in Tanaris. It's guarded by the different uh, uh, giants. It's right in front of Oldham. And uh, this is pre-cataclysm. These are the gates in Tanaris, which is. lead into Ulden before they were opened there up, is. before there the cataclysm rocked there the is. world and the there magical defenses around there the deserts. There it is. There it is, boys. Bones of Galakrond. Obviously. In uh, Dragon Ball. Bones Boy. of Galakrond in Everybody Northland. knows that. Once said to be the first amongst the dragons. Yep. Now we know that he was a massive proto dragon. This is a he super easy He became so part. huge, such a problem, that he started to eat his own kind. Yeah, and he's now an dragon asshole. aspects. They had to unite with Keeper Tear to take him out. Here we see the undead trying to resurrect him. Thankfully, that never came to be. No. Uh, this is the place in Karasang Wilds. Uh, it's in, I think it's in Karasang Wilds. Before the whole four war kicked off in Battle for Azeroth. What? There was an attempt made at peace. Here we see the graves of those poor forsaken that came here to reunite with their living relatives. A story what? told in the novel Before the Storm, a meeting that ended in tragedy. Oh my god, I didn't know that at all. Yeah, I don't know this one either. On Argus, the Croco, they have a little museum going on. One of the items what? that stands out here are all the remains of the legendary orc Proxigar. He jumped through the portal what? over the well of eternity to stand- Bro, I never even knew this! No, straight up, I never even knew this. That's actually badass. Holy shit, man. Wow. And his ground against none other than That's Sargeras. That's awesome. This but as of the time it needed to stop the Dark Titan from coming into the world. Shrine of the Great There's one warrior. spirit that I'd love to make a cameo during the Shadowlands. Fuck yeah. Chigar. 
Okay, well, this is obviously an, an Orgrimmar, right? I mean, it was the blood of Manoroth. They bound yeah. the orcs to the Burning Legion, and it would take them many years, even drinking once again, to see Gromash. It's obviously the bones of Manoroth. I mean, like, it, I mean, there's no other pit lord it would be. It would have to be Manoroth. Just by process of elimination, you would know that. Rise up and slay the pit lord. Yes. His skull and armor are proudly displayed in Orgrimmar, mm -hmm. to then later be used by Grum's son, Garrosh. Yeah, everybody knew he that. He moved the skull to above the throne, while the tusks, they made his shoulders all the more badass. Yeah, they For did. For our next section, I'm going to give you a description of an area, or a zone, or okay. a planet. Up to you to answer what exactly I'm talking about. So for example, right. if I tell you that this is the place where the bones of Galagrond rest, then the answer would be Dragonblight. Okay, alright, all right, right. let's start off with the first one. Once part of the Elven Kingdom, this area was transformed when the goblins, they joined the horde and he wanted to do a Ashara. little something something to show their loyalty, the goblin way of saying thank you. Ashara? The zone that I'm talking about, that is called Ashara, reshaped to look like the horde Yes, scene dude! Holy fuck, yes, dude! I'm honestly getting so upset right now. Like, I was so worried. I'm gonna get the rest of these right. No more this mistakes. This area was abandoned when a mighty volcano okay. erupted around the time of the cataclysm. Good. Heroes were once blamed for this, while in truth, it was greed that caused its destruction. What area- Well, I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. What area is destroyed and abandoned around the cataclysm because of greed? Well, let me go back and, and listen to that again. I wasn't paying attention. Aura, reshaped to look okay. like the horde symbol by the goblins. This area was abandoned when a mighty volcano erupted around the time of the cataclysm. Heroes were once blamed for this, while in truth, it was greed that caused its destruction. It's the, um... It's the island, uh, the Kizan, right? That's the island of Kazan. Yes! Abandoned by the goblins. Since yes, the leader dude. he dug so yes, that it caused Mount Kajaro to erupt. Yes, this greed, though, it did make him one of the first to get Just his hands easy. on his right. Something that we'd later return for. Yeah. In this area, Ogres and Grun rule the lands. A much younger Khadgar teamed up with them, faced off against the mighty Black Dragon Deathwing, and was able to hurt him by magically assaulting the plates of armor that hold the dragon together. Which lo which location do Ogres and Grun rule and saw Khadgar fighting Deathwing? Uh, Gorgorond? This took place in the Blade Edge Mountains. Really? Even to this day, you can see the remnants of the Black Dragons. They're hung up on spikes. Wait, so Khadgar tried to 1v1 Deathwing? What Khadgar did? He won too? No fucking way, dude. Sibelian, son of Deathwing, he even hangs out here, handing out quests. And this is okay. why Gru has the Dragon Slayer title. The Warlock's Dreadsteed and Rolf's Steeds, they're bred on this planet. Zoroth. A portal was opened to it while fighting Portal Keeper Hazabel. What world am yeah, I talking Zoroth. about? Yeah, Zoroth. Everybody knows this. Yeah, that, that's an easy one. Easy, 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 easy. This one is known as Zoro. One of the yep. fiery, chaotic worlds belonging to the Burning Legion. Yep. I do wonder what it's like these days. With Sargeras defeated and all, maybe a question answered in the future. It I'm was sure here, it where the Draenei, on the run from okay. Kill Jaden and the Legion, they made a crash landing. The spirits of the orcs, they're sucked into their abandoned vessel, while one's connection to the elements... What area Draenei abandoned their ship when on the run from Kill Jaden? Well, Eversong Woods. He's actually quite or strong like, here. Whatever place where the Exodar is. I think it's called Eversong Woods, I don't know. This beautiful area is known as the Grand, with its throne of elements and Oshugan. Oshugan being the ship that the Draenei used to flee from Argus. Which brings us to final questions. Well then how- wait, wait, what? What? Eversong Woods- well I thought- uh, wait, am I wrong about Eversong Woods? Like where is Eversong Woods? I don't even know right now. Yeah, oh, that was for Silvermoon. Okay, I, I even got the name wrong anyway. So, it, it, yeah, I thought that was the ex- I thought they were flying in the Exodar. Well, like, how am I supposed to know that this is two ships? Like, from Argus to Draenor? I thought they just went from Argus- oh, wow. He said orcs? Read the damn books? I don't read the books, man. Like, this is all new to me. Line with multiple answers. See how many you can get. Daladan was destroyed by Archimander in Warcraft 3. 
right. but then they rebuild it and send it off into the skies. What locations has this floating citadel visited so far? Well, I mean, it'd be Karazhan, uh, fucking Crystal Song Forest, and uh, the Broken Isles. First, it moved to Northrend to aid in the Nexus War yeah. and fight against the Lich King. Fun fact, it was actually once planned to play its part during the Siege of Orgrimmar, but that part never happened. Yeah. Instead, it first moved to the Deadly yep. Pass before yep. it teleported it to the Broken Isles. Yep. How many of the nine Valkyrie I... remain that entered the pact with Sylvanas Four. after she killed herself? Bonus points if you can actually name them. Four. There are three Valkyrie remaining. Shit! Namely, Kira. Signa and an unnamed third Valkyrie. Shit! The original horde invaded Azeroth and failed to conquer the okay. planet. To which they came up with a brand new plan. They were going to make more portals to different worlds mm -hmm. and instead invade those. Right. Which three powerful items, which three powerful artifacts did Nerzul need for his ritual? This ritual required the Book of Medivh, the Eye of See, the I, I would have got Scepter of Sargeras. Because that's what Gul'dan was going after too. Like I, I would have got that, but the the Eye of Dalaran, I, I had no idea. Holy shit, dude! Dalaran and the Scepter of Sargeras. Nerzul, he was successful in creating all of his portals. Wow! But the Alliance later on, they prevented the Horde from inflicting the same pain to other worlds as they had caused to Azeroth. Fuck, These portals dude. would lead to the destruction of Draenor in the Outland as we Fuck, know it today. Fuck, dude! But Nerzul, he ended up riding in the hands of Kill Jaden. This is embarrassing! I didn't even know any of this! Speaking of the Hordes, and our final question for today. Name all the different Hordes and the War Chiefs. What? What do you mean all the different variations of the Horde? This one has quite a lot of answers. There have been what? so many over the years that I might have forgotten a few of them, but here's my best try. There was the very first Horde, way after War Chief Blackhands. He was challenged to Makora by Orgrim Doomhammer, who then took over. That Horde was defeated by the Alliance of Lordaeron. Some yeah. of them, they returned home to the Draenor, while others, they took a base in the Blackrock Mountain, under the leadership of Ren Blackhand and his so-called Dark Horde. Those that have fled home, they later what returned the with their War Chief Nerzul, also defeated. What? Those that what had stayed the home, they would fall under the leadership of Illidan, while the war chief, he was Kark of Bladefist of the so called Fell Horde. On Azeroth, Thrall rose up. The Horde changed quite a bit, with additions like the Tauren, the Trolls, and the Forsaken. Garrosh was then given leadership of this Horde, his so called True Horde. This is ridiculous. He then traveled to Alternate Draenor, where Alternate. All no, here's the thing like, all Horde players know this? Yeah, look, I, I get the black hand. I get that. I get Orgrim Doomhammer. All right, that's fine. That makes sense. That's what happened in the fucking original story, and then they did it backwards in fucking uh, in Wad. Okay, but like I would have never thought of fucking Nerzul. I would never thought of Rend Blackhand with the Dark Horde. Like those are just a bunch of assholes that didn't want to group up. Like this is that's actually actually the Horde. It's just a collection of assholes. Like, what the fuck? Gromash, he became the war chief of the Iron Hordes. Meanwhile, Vol'jin, he took over as war chief for Azeroth's Hordes to do nothing and die to the demons. Yes. Before he died, he passed the leadership to Sylvanas, Vol'jin, who abandoned the Horde to kick up. off the next expansion, which leaves us with seemingly no war chief, but rather a council. You can never have enough Horde or war chiefs, it seems. <sighs> hopefully, I didn't forget one, and hopefully, you really enjoyed this little quiz. If all things go according to plan, then Jeez. this should be one of my last videos for the year 2019. Another year has come and gone, and what a year it's been. The start of next month should be the release of patch 8.3, and then it's wow. onwards to the Shadowlands beta and oh a brand boy. new expansion. For now, all that's left for me to say is thank you so very much, everybody. I hope the next year is going to bring all that you're looking for. Stay safe for your celebrations, and until next time, see ya! Damn, today has just not been your day, man. This is some bullshit, dude. This is some fucking bullshit, dude. This is some straight up bull motherfucking shit, dude. Like, I don't even know what to say.
This used to be a never wrong, never lose a mount off, highest achievement points, never stop always going big dick stream. I miss those days. Make Asmongold great again. True. Big tr Oh my god. Listen, guys, these this this quiz Listen, man, like, I'm so fucking, dude, this is fuck, dude, I can't, man, what the fuck? Like, what I mean, are you, what, are, what are you saying? I like, don't you're know. Not even, you're not even putting together thoughts like, anymore. You're just like, dude, man, man. Come on, thought, this, man, is, this is fucking ridiculous.